Hello, parents and guardians. Thank you for joining us for our tech tip on how to access PowerSchool for your student. The first thing that you are going to want to do is to navigate to eastsidehs.org. Once you're on this page, you will go to the Parent tab. And on the Parent tab, all the way down here on the right, hand, on the right column, you're going to see PowerSchool Parent Portal. Click on the portal and you are going to choose create. And now I'm going to create an account. If you haven't created an account already, you're going to do so here. I'm gonna fill in my information here and in the email, Make sure that it's correct because you will get notifications. So please double check this. It's going to ask you to re-enter the email that you use and check most consistently. Choose a desired username and choose a desired password. Re-enter it. And down here, we're going to link our students to our account. It says enter the access ID, access password, and relationship for each student you wish to add to your parent account. Here is where you would add the information for your student. Now I'm going to put in my student's name and I'm going to put in their access ID. If you do not have this access ID information, you can call the school um, or email their counselor, your student's counselor, and get the access ID and the access password. So I'm going to put in the access ID I was given along with the access password I was given. And I'm going to say what my relationship is with this student. Now, if I have more than one student and I want to log in only once for each, for all of my students, then I'm going to move down here and just put in all the information for all the students that I have in my household. Now that I've created the account, I have saved my username and my password on here. You can do that so that you don't have to remember your username and password every time. And I'm going to sign in. It says the PowerSchool email has not been verified. Click here to resend a new account. Once you are, have created your PowerSchool uh, account, what you will do is you will check your email and it will send you a notification and you must verify your account. Now that I've gone to my email and verified my account, I'm going to refresh this. And that will get me into the account. Once you log in, you will see a screen that looks similar to this. You'll see a navigation window on the left hand side. But this window here that you see is grades and attendance. As you move through this screen, there are lots of things that you can do on here. The first thing is you can see the student's quarter one grade, uh, the quarter two grade, a semester grade. These are the grades that will go on their transcripts or the credits that will be given for graduation is your semester one or your semester two. For this particular student, since we are just starting we are just in quarter one. You'll only see grades in quarter one, and those grades are going to be what you're going to see in semester one. And then there will be a combination of quarter one and quarter two grades at the end of the semester to give you this particular grade. Now, if you would like to see how your student is doing a particular class, here are their grades with percentages. But let's say that you want to see if they're turning in assignments and what they received on each assignment. All you have to do is click on the letter grade and a new window will come up. The new window shows the course name, the teacher, what the period is and what the grade in the class is, a percentage and a letter grade. You can move down and see every assignment. It has the due date for that assignment up on top, the category if the teacher is putting them into categories, the assignment name, you can see the score for that assignment, what it was out of and what they received, a percentage that they received for that particular assignment, and then a grade for that assignment. So this is the information here. 
Uh, you can see when the teacher last updated their grades. And down here is a legend that has information for you in case teachers are using any of these particular comments. So was it collected? Was it late? Was it missing? Sometimes teachers use th these things and sometimes they don't. So if you see those, you can come all the way to the bottom and look at the comment section and have a legend there for you. If you would like to email a teacher because you have a concern, you can come back to this screen by clicking on PowerSchool SIS up on top, and you can click on the particular teacher's class. There's for each teacher, there's a little icon here. So if I was to click on this icon, it would give me the teacher's name and the teacher's email. So you can uh, copy and paste this directly into your email and you can email that teacher. Again, over here on the side, you can also see that there is a attendance spot. And you can see for this particular student that they were absent on Friday. If you move to the bottom here, it has a simple GPA for your student, but it also has a legend for access codes, for, for attendance codes. So if, you're, if your student has a T, that means they were tardy. All of that information for those codes can be found here. If you would like to go to a few more of these tabs, you can go to your grade history for your student, and you can see how your student has done over the last couple of years. You can look at their grades for each of these, and there's a tab for each and every one, including summer school. You can also move down here on the left-hand side to attendance history. Attendance history will show from the beginning of school all the way through for each and every class a, a attendance. And you can see on here, there's an absence here. And in this column, it says this is the week of 928 to 102. And this Friday is 102. And you can see this particular app, app, this particular student was absent for their English 10 class period four on Friday. Over on the side again, you can go to email notifications. This is where you can set up your account. It has your student's name up on top. It has your account email information, but then you can move down here and you can personalize this account. It asks you what information would you like to receive? Would you like a summary of current grades and attendance? If you click here, then you will get that. Detail report showing assignment scores for each class. Do you want detail report for, of attendance, school announcements, and balance alerts? In addition to that, you can add other email addresses here if you would like to. And then you can set it for how often you want to receive these alerts. The frequency, how often, I can click here and I can get weekly. I can get a notification every two weeks, monthly, or I can get them daily as well. And then I can apply these settings to all of the students that I listed originally in my PowerSchool login. Over on the side, one more time, teacher comments. You can go to teacher comments and you can choose which quarter we're looking at. We're looking at quarter one now. So if I was to do that, I would see that this particular student, her fourth period teacher gave her a comment. Again, over on the side, I can go to school bulletin. This will give you information about what's going on at the school and bulletins for that particular day. You can also go to my schedule. My schedule will show your student's schedule. It will have the class name. It will have the teacher. Uh, it will have the room number. And it will also have the time that that class takes place. And it has it for the entire week. You can go down to school information on the left-hand side. And on here, you can find the phone number for the school, the fax number for the school, and the school's address if that's something that you need. Again, if you finish up here, PowerSchool SS, you click on that, it will take you back to your home screen. Thank you for watching this tech tip, and we hope that this will help improve the communication between the school and you and help your student be more successful here at our school. Have a good day.